So since Yemen was on the agenda of the Human Rights Council and the Yemeni Baha'is remain systematically persecuted at the hands of the Houthis simply because of their religious affiliation. At present, 24 Baha'is are still under indictment. The six Baha'is who were unjustly detained and tortured in Sana'a and later deported from the country have now been branded by the authorities as fugitives, despite the fact that the condition the Houthis gave for their release was their immediate departure, or in other words, exile. The judiciary has approved the confiscation of Baha'i-owned assets and property and the blacklisting of Baha'is, leading to thousands of them being denied the possibility to earn a living and many more under concert constant surveillance. Two weeks ago, the authorities threatened and prevented a Yemeni Baha'i from participating in a televised program where he was to be interviewed along with the representative of the Houthis in a blatant case of violation not only of freedom of religion or belief, but also of freedom of expression. Madam Vice President, the targeted persecution that thousands of Baha'is in Yemen face is in addition to the immense suffering that all Yemenis endure. The international community must continue to call on the Houthis to seize its persecution and cruel treatment of the Baha'is and allow them to practice their faith freely and enjoy their human rights as equals in their society. Thank you. Thank you.